Hello, welcome to The Update. I'm Susie Thompson. The opposition is hitting back at criticism. It's yet to release its final policy costings. 37 election promises at a cost of $2.3 billion have been submitted by the federal government to the Parliamentary Budget Office. The coalition has accused Labor of trying to hide the cost of its election promises. Shadow Treasurer Jim Chalmers says the final price tag will be released on Thursday. Josh Frydenberg and Scott Morrison, they want to bang on about Labor's costings as a desperate attempt to distract from their own failures on the economy and on the budget. They are trying desperately to distract from the fact that they racked up a trillion dollars in debt. New data shows there are benefits to government by improving early intervention in homelessness. Someone accessing homelessness services in New South Wales costs an average of $186,000 over six years, nearly four times more than the general population. Only 9% of that is for housing services. The New South Wales Police Minister says the community deserves to feel safe as police are granted new powers. Legislation has come into effect allowing officers to search the homes of convicted drug dealers without a warrant. Overseas and police in Honduras have captured a woman accused of leading a drug trafficking clan with four of her sons. 61-year-old Helinda Bobadilla was arrested after a shootout with authorities which claimed the life of one of her sons. The US had placed a $5 million bounty on Bobadilla and each of her sons. In sport, Canterbury's begun the search for a new head coach after Trent Barrett's decision to quit. Premiership winning coaches Paul Green and Shane Flanagan have been confirmed as being in the mix. In AFL, Hawks defender James Sicily has re-signed with the club on a new five-year deal. And Cricket Australia has announced three national squads for the Commonwealth Bank International Cricket Inclusion Series. In entertainment news, Australian model Miranda Kerr and her billionaire hubby have delighted graduates at an art college in LA by paying off their student loans. Snapchat founder Evan Spiegel was there with Kerr to receive his honorary degree. Otis College of Art and Design President Charles Hershorn told the 285 students their career would begin debt-free. Evan and Miranda, through their Spiegel Family Fund, have made the largest single gift in the history of Otis College. Their gift will enable you to repay your student loans. And that is the latest from the Nova Podcast News team. We'll see you tomorrow morning for another episode of The Update. I'm Susie Thompson.